Welcome back to Judo Breakdowns, your source for commentary on judo matches on the internet. And what I have for you today is a match from the Grand Slam in Paris 2022 between Emma Reed from uh, Great Britain versus Jung Yun Lee uh, from Korea. <clears throat> this is in the women's under 78 category, and this is the bronze medal match. So both uh, competitors are now just coming to the mat. We'll just fast forward a little bit, and uh, we'll get going. Okay, so... Emma is in the white, and Jung Yun is in the blue. And right now, they've both got their grips established. Uh, Emma went for the over the back, but uh, all right, now we're okay. Jung Jung Yun uh, had an attack that took Emma to the ground, but um, a, a little bit of uh, trying to show a little bit of groundwork, but nothing really came out of that. And uh, let's see how. A lot of rotation that we're seeing there from uh, Jung Yun. <laughs> Taking the long way. All right, let's go. Yeah, that's what the referee is saying. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> Again, uh, of a lot of rotation on that left. Iponse uh, away. And that was a Karagurum attempt, it seems, by uh, Jung Yun. It's not my, it's not, it's not your father's Karagurum, I guess, a.k.a. me. <laughs> like, where I like seeing the, the hand through the legs, because that's not allowed anymore. But still, it seems like it was a Karagurum. Modified to allow, for, per the, these current rules. <laughs> So, so far, we've seen a penalty assessed to Emma for uh, passivity. And still, uh, Jung Yun has uh, been the one to initiate almost all of the attacks. We'd like to see Emma start upping that uh, output. Uh, but still, once again, another attack uh, by Jung Yun and into from the Seiwe. Okay, but Emma was able to get uh, a little bit going on the... On the ground, got her to turn, but uh, quickly Jun Young turned to her belly. So, okay. So let's see. Oh, there must be a very exciting match in another one. <laughs> That's what these announcers are talking about. Okay, a driving attack by Jun Young, but w very easily. Uh, blocked by Emma, and she's trying to get her turned over, but uh, too well based for Emma to really turn her over. And uh, she's going to get her second uh, Shido for passivity. Now Emma's got the pressure to really ramp up uh, the output uh, over and above what she had done before. I, I'm not liking the turnover attempts from Emma. Like I feel like there's got to be more of a, a better game plan than this. Or a better game plan than that, uh, because uh, really not getting much, get, getting anywhere with that. Okay, over the back or around the back grip by Emma. A drop left stay away again from uh, Jun Yun. And uh, I almost think that uh, you know what might be instructive is. Uh, Making those uh, drop sayaways riskier for uh, Jung Yun, either with a counter or uh, a ready-made uh, there was a follow-up, right? Would be useful. Wazari is called. I think Wazari should be called for Jung Yun. I'm assuming it was called uh, for that uh, for her attack there, and. Yeah, once again, a bit of pushing around, but nothing happening there. Wazari is called for, yep, as I expected. So, a little bit over a minute. Emma's really got to get going here. If she wants to uh, stay in this, the, the left stay away from uh, Jun Yun is uh, not working, and the turnover is definitely not working for Emma. So... 
I think uh, you know Jun Yun is in a very good position here. No penalties. Under a minute. Up a Wazari. And uh, still attacking. There it is. That's the Apon. She had been going for the uh, the Sanagi that whole time. And uh, she finally found it. Emma Reed obviously uh, disappointed with herself. Uh, she did uh, work really hard. But I think that uh, this match, you know, there's a lot to think about there for her uh, in terms of uh, dealing with the drop uh, Sayoe and uh, the turnovers from that. Like what what could make it more effective, how uh, she was being blocked. But let's revisit that Ipon. Uh, it was very nice from Jung Yun. So I, I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Okay, so it's a left drop. You can see it's not in a poem. It's actually a uh, Rote Senagi. Because uh, you can see the elbows coming in. And uh, it almost happens like there's like hang time there. Like there's a little bit of hang time. It's, it, it's go happening in slow mo. And part of it is the propping up by Emma. Uh, with with the left with the right hand, uh, and maybe that's propping up here, and the pull by uh, Jun Yun is really what causes the rotation there. Yeah, so you you wonder if she hadn't tried to block with her right hand. Would that throw have maybe just face planted uh, Emma? Now, obviously, you don't want to take a face plant either, because <laughs> that stinks. But uh, you know, you also don't want to get thrown for Epon either, right? So, like, if you imagine this arm wasn't here, she's going far enough forward that her hand is able to brace. So, um, so obviously, the trajectory of the throw is forward, and maybe with a slight roll. But, uh, you know, if she didn't have that hand there, definitely a, the big, the line share of the rotation happens after the hand plant. So, uh, interesting wrinkle. And that, uh, you know, Emma may have had a hand. Okay, I'm going to show myself out for that pun. For, uh, in the Ipon. And, um, anyways, still. Congratulations to Jung Yun for the, the win, the bronze. Uh, hopefully, Emma you know, takes stock of what happened here and she, she tweaks and uh, works on what she's doing. She's obviously a very talented player. Getting to the bronze battle round is you know no small feat. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, consider hitting like, subscribing. That'd be great. If you have your own thoughts or you have feedback from me or the channel, uh, please leave a comment. I find that all very useful. And until next time, until next match, have a great night.